And then moving on to the fourth assumption, we got the unit of measure, or sometimes it's called the stable monetary unit assumption. And it basically assumes that the accounting information, all the financial statements, is measured and reported in the same monetary unit. So in the same currency. Usually the currency is uh, wherever the head office is located or whatever that national currency is of the head office. So for example, let's say that you have a company and you're based in uh, Canada, which has CAD currency, but let's say that you also sell products in the US and in Europe. So sometimes you receive USD dollars, sometimes you receive Euro dollars as well. Mostly you're receiving Canadian dollars and this is where your head office is. Well, if you were to make your financial statements and then have all of these multiple currencies on it, Canadian dollars, USD dollars, Euro dollars, then uh, it's not going to be as understandable. It's going to be more confusing. You're going to be sacrificing a lot of the qualities that we've talked about before. A lot of those qualitative characteristics of financial information. So what you got to do is you got to convert these here to CAD and then these numbers you would put on the financial statements along with these ones because then users understand it better. Stuff is more comparable like if there's fluctuations in the currencies that can um, that can make things more confusing and less comparable especially if you're looking at previous accounting periods. So you convert everything to one currency and that's what you base the financial statements on. So that's what this assumption takes care of.